bamboo has been used in the construction industry all over Asia for centuries. Its flexibility, strength, and the fact that it's light and easy to transport make it an excellent material for the trade. It takes about four years to grow to the right size. It's chopped down, dried for around two months, and then cut down to seven meter tubes. On site, a crane lifts a pile of bamboo up to a height of over 100 meters. The workers will use it to erect the scaffolding for the next two floors. A worker brings the next tube into position using just his balance. While scaffolding on our shores is fixed with steel fittings, here, the frame is lashed together with plastic straps. It's at 120 meters in the air on a structure of just bamboo and plastic. It might not be everyone's career choice, but in Hong Kong, scaffolding is a well-paid job which is also well-respected. And of course, the views are fantastic. The grid the scaffolders create is made of squares, approximately 75 centimeters on each side. As well as giving the structure the strength it needs, it makes a convenient climbing frame too. On any given day, there can be hundreds of scaffolders clambering over the bamboo towers around Hong Kong. Extra thick tubes are fixed diagonally forming braces for the organic structure. Other types of wood would break under this kind of strain, but bamboo is hollow, and this gives it the strength to make these structures possible. It's an excellent alternative to the metal tubes that are used in other parts of the world, but it is weather sensitive and there's a risk of rotting. For the scaffolders who climb these gigantic frames every day, the idea that it may fall apart is not a pleasant one.